Whether quilts are new or returning from display outside the museum, the first thing we do is put them in isolation. This special area of the building includes a freezer, which kills any bugs or larvae that might be attached to a quilt and could infect the rest of the collection. Quilts are then stored in sealed plastic bags and inspected to ensure that no outside pests enter the collection. After at least two weeks in isolation, quilts are vacuumed by a team of volunteers before being stored again. To vacuum a quilt, we place a soft, flexible screen over it. This prevents the vacuum suction from pulling on the quilt and damaging it. We slowly move the vacuum over both sides of the quilt. The team takes pest control seriously. We follow policies set by the American Alliance of Museums. It's a lot of work, but we do it to protect the quilts for future generations. Quilts introduced to the collection are assigned a unique number and affixed with a cloth label containing basic information. The labels are 100% non-bleached cotton and hand sewn with large stitches. Our staff and volunteers perform object surveys on all new and returning items. This gives us a chance to thoroughly study every quilt in the collection and start a file for it. In an object survey, we establish the quilt's length and width, and whether it was made by hand, by machine, or both. We take note of how the binding was applied and the number of stitches per inch. We determine the fiber in the quilt and what fabrics were used. We also make notes of any inscriptions, which are later researched by our genealogical task force. All of this information goes into our database along with any history or genealogical information we might have on each quilt.